This is it. Uh, this is going to be fascinating. You are watching uh, a satellite uh, television, uh, we believe in the compound, satellite TV, uh, the channel selection. Uh, we believe he is watching Al Jazeera if we look at it very closely. You will see the whoever is shooting this uh, with a camera mm -hmm. will pull out to a wider shot and you're going to see an Osama bin Laden I don't think any of us have ever uh, seen. Uh, gray, white gray beard, white gray hair, a uh, blanket around his shoulders, a mm. knit cap, intently, intently watching himself on TV, looking at different pictures of himself being broadcast on TV. All, the message here that the administration is saying is all of this goes to how much he was cognizant and watchful of his mm. own public image. So, Barbara, let me uh, let's let you uh, hold that thought for a second. I want to welcome our viewers around the world now as we're being simulcast on uh, CNN International, CNN Domestic as well. So, if you're just now joining us, what we're seeing here is videotape that the Department of Defense here in the United States at the Pentagon is sharing, has shared with reporters at an intelligence briefing that took place last hour. And this is videotape that was seized from the compound of Osama bin Laden in Pakistan at the time of the raid of that compound, at the time of the killing of Osama bin Laden, the leader of the Al-Qaeda network. Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr was in that briefing room. She's with us now. You're hearing her voice as she explains the videotape, the significance of the videotape, and that the Pentagon, the intelligence officials, did not allow the viewing of the videotape with audio. Picture only, but the intelligence sources there, personnel at that meeting, did a great job of explaining uh, what was taking place in this video that you will see a different kind of Osama bin Laden than the public is generally used to seeing. Uh, you will see, as Barbara is about to explain, uh, him actually viewing television, watching the satellite cover, via satellite, watching the television coverage around the world as it pertained to stories involving him and his images. So, Barbara, I'll let you pick it up from there. Right. Fred, sorry to have interrupted you. Let me jump in. You are about to see Osama bin Laden as perhaps you have never seen him before. Candidly, watching himself on TV, what is so interesting about this picture, there he is, white beard, white gray beard, white gray hair, not dyed as he normally would appear in any public broadcast. He is sitting in front of a television a blanket around his shoulders, a knit cap, we believe, on his head, intently watching himself on TV, sort of nodding up and down. Uh, what is so fascinating here is this is not the public face of Osama bin Laden. I, at one point on this video, you are going to see also something very interesting. He will gesture uh, with his left arm. We asked about that because over the years, there had been a lot of uh, rumor, indication, speculation, whatever you want to call it, that he had suffered a serious injury to his left arm perhaps years ago when he uh, left Tora Bora, uh, when he, he, he was attacked up there. In some videos, he had not shown movement in his left arm, uh, and that had led to some speculation again that he'd suffered a permanent injury. We'll see him stroke his beard, not a lot of movement, but you will see him move his left arm. So that's just another uh, clue to perhaps look for. There he is, uh, hunched over a TV, watching himself so intently on a number of satellite channels, watching a broadcast uh, of himself and how he is being portrayed on television. This, by all accounts, we believe to be a satellite uh, reception. Nobody's, uh, the belief is it is in the compound where he, he was finally found. I don't know that there's a final determination mm -hmm. on that. Um, but the, the, the video is part of what we were shown today uh, as to what was found in, in the compound.